Intraocular pressure measurements are a standard measurement that is performed in every eye examination. It, particularly glaucoma patients that are at risk for uh, damage, permanent damage, due to elevation of intraocular pressure, or individuals that have uh, treatments that is performed on their eye to lower the pressure, we uh, monitor and measure intraocular pressure. However, intraocular pressure has suffered because we are not able to measure IOP that commonly between visits of a patient as well as non-ophthalmic uh, professionals cannot perform this measurement. For example, you could go to a pharmacy and get your blood pressure evaluated. You could go to a primary care physician, get your blood pressure evaluated, your blood sugar evaluated, but you will not be able to get your eye pressure evaluated. Emergency care rooms are not able to evaluate eye pressures either. So when you have an emergency situation where the pressure of the eye is very elevated, non-ophthalmic professionals are not able to tell you well, that that was the problem with your eye. So if you can come up with a device that can be very repeatable, very reliable, and can be utilized by multiple professionals of healthcare that are not necessarily eye care certified or trained, will be fantastic. One uh, device that I've been working with is a collaborator uh, uh, and the inventor of the device, uh, Jean Margiano. Uh, his principles were, can we democratize uh, IOP measurement? So with that goal in mind, and making the signal all digital, that uh, machine learning classifiers and artificial intelligence can identify if there's a problem with the eye, uh, was the underlying principles of this. So taking a, a small piezoelectric material, we can measure the force applied to the eye very accurately. And mind you, this is a very little, tiny amount of force that is needed. And the duration of contact to the eye is also very, very small, uh, 0.1 uh, uh, second. So it's a very light touch to the eye, and you can actually measure the force applied as well as you can actually uh, measure the flattening of the, uh, of the eye. And you can calculate uh, intraocular pressure very accurately. So this is in its early prototype development. Uh, it is patented, and we're hoping that we'll be able to come up with a, um, a, a device that any uh, professional, medical professional, that can actually use this to measure IOP. All we have when we have devices, when, and there are loads of devices in eye care, uh, both ophthalmology, optometry, any eye care, we have loads of gadgets. Um, they, are, they are centered to our eye examination. Improving them constantly is very crucial. Otherwise, we, if you do the same thing, isn't that the definition of madness? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. We have not figured out what causes some of these diseases that we have known for over two uh, centuries and yet we haven't fixed a, fixed, a, fixed a disease. And part of the problem is lack of technology. And technology actually improves. Even, even though we may have looked at artificial intelligence 20 years ago, the, the, the technology has improved much more now that we'll be able to get closer to the solution to the problem. And so I think it's very important as scientists, we keep moving forward in the right direction and keep pushing ourselves to come up with independent, novel biomarkers that can tell us about disease states more accurately.